What's up and welcome back to another video. I'm Seven Beat. Today we're going to create an advanced Emma Piano Beat in Apple Studio. So I hope you enjoy the tutorial. For this Emma Piano Beat, we're going to create a particularly simple drum pattern, but we're going to go really in depth about the melodies. I'm going to try to add some original elements. So for this beat, I'm going to adjust the BPM to 112 and I'm going to start off with Purity. I'm going to select Presets, Bell and Perk. I'm going to use this Vibraphone. This one. And I'm going to create this melody in C minor. So I'm going to start off with this C5. Turn on the velocity a little bit, dragging the note like this, C, and then I'm going to add this. And then I'm adding an A sharp, and I'm going to add a D flat. Then I'm going to copy this whole melody, Control C, Control V, and then I'm going to use a G sharp. I'm lowering this note to D sharp, and this A sharp to G sharp. All right, now I'm going to add some low notes. So I'm going to start at G sharp, C, C, and now we're gonna use great kind of seven chord, use this D sharp. So I've created this eight bar chord progression. And right now I'm gonna add another layer. So I'm going to use GMS and then pick a random preset. So I'm gonna use this preset. I'm gonna start off at D sharp. A and then G. And then again, A and G. So right now I'm gonna select this melody, Control C and Control B. All right, now I'm gonna add another layer. So I'm gonna use Purity and add that typical tremolo sound. So presets, I think it's under slow synth. Preset 115. I'm gonna start off at this simple C flat. All right, now we're gonna add the typical brass sound, which is often used in Emma Piano. So in this case, I'm gonna use a totally different sound. So for example, I'm gonna use citrus bass sound, so brass. For example, just use this random one. First, and then at the first and third note, we're gonna add the melody. So that's another layer. So this is one of the layers and right now we're gonna add another one and I'm going to use Purity again. Just pick another preset, Woodwind. And then I'm gonna use this Ocarina. I'm gonna just copy the Smooth 2 bass preset, paste it into the new Purity pattern, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, the whole pattern like this. And I'm gonna turn it up one octave, pressing command up. Lowering the volume. And I'm gonna adjust the length of the notes to one four bar. And later on, I'm gonna add some more reverb to those elements to give it some more ambience. Right now I'm gonna add a random element. So I'm gonna use morphine. It's right here, I'm not using this a lot, but for example, we're gonna use a synth, this random one, bell, bellish sound. All right now I'm gonna drag in something at random. So it's just what comes to my mind. So this is just a random melody. So that's basically it. And right now I'm gonna add some drums and this will be a simple drum pattern. So I'm gonna open up my Emma Piano sample pack and then I'm gonna just search for a kick. I think I want this short and deep kick, this one. I'm gonna normalize it. So right now I've created this simple four by four kick pattern. I'm gonna drag it into the arrangement. And right now I'm gonna add the shaker loops. 
I'm dragging in this one and this one. Just gonna layer those two. I'm gonna select the sun. around 20% of swing like this and I'm gonna add some percussions so I'm gonna start off with some snares just gonna use this one so I've created a snare loop and I just want it to be simple And right now I'm gonna use one of my new sample packs, the Afrobeat producer kit. And I'm gonna select some Tom percussions, natural ones. So I've selected this Agogo and I'm creating a pattern like this. Then I'm adding this bellish sound. And I'm gonna add a snap to add some more ambience to the beat. So I'm gonna select snaps. I'm gonna use this one and just copy this pattern into this one and just play around. All right, I'm gonna add some vocal samples. So I'm gonna use my Amma Piano sample pack, vocals, voices. I'm gonna add this one, this one. <coughs> And this one, I'm gonna add this one right here. Add this one right here. Turn on the volume. And this one somewhere right here. As you can hear, it's not time stretch to the tempo of the project. So we're gonna time stretch it manually. So we're gonna adjust it a little bit, like this. And just listen. Maybe reduce a little bit. That's it. So I'm gonna disable some of the elements. And right now I'm gonna add the lock drum. So I'm gonna use the DX10. And I'm gonna use some of my presets, which are also included in my sample pack. I'm gonna use lock drum preset five. And as you can see, it's really simple to make some adjustments. So I'm gonna make the lock drum a little bit longer. And I'm gonna start off at this G sharp. <laughs> I'm gonna create something which is similar to the sequence right here. And then something like this. And I think those aren't in the right key. So I'm gonna adjust it to C and then make these notes a little bit longer, except for this one. So I've made some small adjustments to the lock drum and it sounds like this. And right now we're gonna add a bass. So I'm going to just create a simple sine bass. So I'm gonna use three OSC, which I highly recommend, simple plugin, simple to use. Add around 5% of mix to the second oscillator, which is one octave higher than oscillator one. And now I'm gonna just play along with my, like this, I'm following the log drum notes. <laughs> So 
duplicate it again and do the same thing as the log drum. So this is how it sounds when all the layers play together. <laughs> So that's it when it comes to creating all the layers. And right now it still sounds really messy. So I'm going to do a little bit of mixing and create a final arrangement. So I hope you enjoy it. So I've just finished the beat and I think the outcome is awesome. So first I want to show you some of the final elements. So those are the final vocal shots. <coughs> 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 So this is the final drum pattern and I've added some reverb to the agogo. Also added some reverb. And to all the melodies I've added some reverb and did a little bit of EQ. So not that interesting. So right now I'm gonna play the final arrangement and as you can see, I've added a lot of effects. So I've added a typical crash and added some typical drum loops. So right now I'm going to play through the first part of the arrangement. First, just a simple build up. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. First, just the chords. GMS coming in, also automated to tremolo volume, as you can see right here, coming in right now. Log drum. Also added some separation to the log drum. Coming in, bass. Really like the bass line. Ocarina coming in. Right now I'm layering all the elements. I just moved around some of the elements to keep it interesting, but you can listen to the final beat. The link is in the description. So I just want to show you some final things. So on this lock drum to make it more bouncy, I've added some saturation, warm tape preset, and just added some drive. And it's really adds some distortion and pulls the sound to the front. Also added those automation clips, just really simple to create something like this. It's just a volume automated. So it's a tremolo sound, just press the right mouse button, Create animation clip. As you can see, I've created channel volume two. So a second animation clip and just drag in the points like this and create something similar as the first one. So that's it when it comes to this cook up and right now I'm gonna wrap up the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to check out my most recent masterclass, the links in the description. And I've created this masterclass especially for people who are struggling to get along with my tutorials. So this masterclass is all about mastering Apple Studio. Also make sure to check out my MPN sample pack, the link is in the description. And I hope to see you in one of my next tutorials.